my name is uh, Stanley Hill. I've uh, <laughs> I'm Indy. Good, I've uh, lived off of uh, Monterey Peninsula Drive, 2374 Monterey Peninsula Drive, for about 43 years now. Uh, I, I'm here uh, as the president of the Mountain View Civic Association, and that's a group that's consisting of uh, Cornita and a number of uh, Corona residents that uh, encompass the abandoned golf course. And uh, the, the one thing I wanted to bring up today is that, uh, you know, I think we all had expectations that with the, uh, the roads and, and how much money was put into the infrastructure that the traffic was gonna get a lot better well, if you come out, you know, at, at 7.30 or 6.30 in the morning, and I was heading to the gym just the other day, you know, there's miles of traffic. You know, people sit in that f uh, for, you know, 40, 40 minutes before they get on the freeway. You look at Maple, you look at Green River, you look at Surface Club, you know, which is the street I take. Uh, so it hasn't helped. Now, the city has a lot of developments that are currently under construction. And um, what I would like your assistance at, and maybe your, your suggestion about, or your thoughts about, is whether you would consider a moratorium on residential development or approving new residential development until these other projects are complete and we can assess the impacts of those projects uh, on the overall environment and quality of life. That's, that's what I wanted to find out. Don't leave. When you talk about the traffic, we're talking about the traffic headed towards the 91 going westbound to Orange County, correct? Yes. Okay, good. The, the reason I bring that up is like I was talking with Dale a few minutes ago, is that I think, in my opinion, again, not the other guys, my opinion, that those lights on the on-ramps are the big culprit for holding the traffic back because they stop the traffic. Mm -hmm. But again, like I mentioned to Dale, that this is a state-run organization. It's not even county, it's state. It's Caltrans that, that's in charge of that. I think that perhaps you might want to contact Senator Ross's office, Sabrina Cervantes' office, to work on a state level, okay? Is Ms. Soriel still here? Yes, Good. Thank you. She, Giselle. You still here? She's Giselle. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. That very nice lady halfway up on the right-hand side, grab her business card, and she'll be oh. able to give you some direction with that, okay? That's, that's issue one. The other thing is, we've been friends for like 40 years, you and me, okay? Yeah. All right, since, never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, the city doesn't build houses. I, I we, don't, we don't build them, okay? We, we don't. We, do, we don't build the houses. And, and the third thing is, like I mentioned earlier, that we, we'd like you to come and speak now about something that's not on the agenda, and here's why. I think perhaps we should talk about putting a moratorium on. I, again, Haley's speaking on his own now, not the other guys. Mm -hmm. But what we would have to do, but we're not prepared to discuss that now. I understand. Thank I, you just, very much. Yeah, Stan, I, you're still a good guy. <laughs> okay. And, you're, and Trey was offside. But anyway. Okay. Thank you. Grab her card, and uh, she'll, she'll also help you out with uh, Senator LaRoss's office as well. Okay. And then I can contact somebody about... Uh, you know, possibly uh, discussing how we might uh, uh, implement a moratorium on. Absolutely. 